Sarah here from Singer's Advice. Well, thanks for joining me. Well, today I'm going to talk about anchoring and what that's all about. So if you have just heard about using different parts of your body, your muscles to anchor your voice and you're wondering what that's about, well, this is a lesson for you. So what is anchoring? Well, I think we often place a lot of focus, and rightly so, on our diaphragm control, our breathing technique, and that is the basis of singing. But I think as you get more advanced, there are other things that come into play when you sing, other parts of your body. You know, it's not just about your voice and your diaphragm working together. It's not enough. Uh, and there are kind of three main types of anchoring that I've come across. There's head anchoring, neck anchoring, and anchoring from the torso. Okay, so um, let's first of all talk about head anchoring and what that's for and why you'd want to do it. So head anchoring I think is a great thing for nasality, lack of brightness and tone, um, so getting getting rid of the nasality I should say, not, not adding to it, um, closing off that nasal port and allowing your soft palate to raise. Now finding the muscles that can help with that, that's what head anchoring is. So, I would say, flare your nostrils and feel what happens, yeah? Feel that the sort of muscles engaging around here, in your face and in, in your mouth, that soft palate raising, and that is the head anchoring. So, for example, if you find that vowels are going up your nose, E's, you know, if you've got A, if you just say A, A, E, I, O, U, and you, you'll go A, E, I, O, U, or sing it, you know, as a better example, <laughs> if you go A, E, I, O, U, you know, you want A, E, I, O, U, I am head anchoring to get that out of my nose. When I'm, when I'm not doing that when I'm those muscles are relaxed. A E I O U. No matter how much I'm supporting from my diaphragm, that is still happening. Okay? So you have to connect with the muscles in your head, in your face, get the soft palate moving, get that tongue out of the way, yeah? Just be careful about tongues. <laughs> yeah, if your tongue if you don't ever let the tongue be up in the air, it's amazing how Sometimes singers do an exercise and the tongue's up here. I don't know. Relax your tongue. I'm not saying have it flat. It should be high at the back. When you flare your nostrils, feel that. The kind of here bit raises and that's going to help get it out of your nose, get a clearer, nicer tone. So head anchoring is great for a clear tone shutting off that nasal part and um, giving you that clarity and that that's kind of pure sound as well that you might be after. <music> Neck an anchoring. Now this one, you've got to be careful with this one because I think people that start to use neck anchoring sometimes it can end up causing more tension in your neck because straight away you think tension and you've got to not think tension. So um, do some nice shoulder exercises to start with and you know just move your head side to side. Just get it loosened up so that you, you're kind of not tense to start with. You know singing is about your whole body working not just about this. Um, and then a good way to for this one is to do a siren. So if I was to go, mm -hmm. 
So as I'm doing that, I'm engaging my neck muscles. If I don't engage my neck muscles, this is what would happen. <laughs> so that that's what happens and that is what's happening when someone sirens and they're breaking all over the place. Okay? I think that one really helps to sort that out and helps bridging the gap. So when you're thinking about bridging the gap this is what this kind of anchoring is going to help with that so you've a good way to connect with this is either i've always done it hand behind the head pushing back now don't let your head move forwards or backwards it's not this or this okay it's your hand there as if the wall's there okay as if you're pushing your head back against a wall and you feel these muscles here engaging you know, even down to here, into your shoulders slightly, and holding that position. Now, there's that way, or this way, okay? Some people say to do it with your hand on your forehead, and you push against that, and you can feel the muscles engaging, yeah, all the way around. Now, either way, whatever you prefer, um, try that with the siren. So, let's first of all do it that way, so we're going to go... So no break, yeah? Do it this way. Same thing you could do on an E or an A or an R sound, so where you would normally have a break that's where these muscles need to work even more yeah but you've got to be careful that you're not tensing up yeah so where that break is so if I relax them again so there pushing back yeah you got to push back to that point have that support and that's going to help a lot with crossing that bridge bridging that gap from chest voice to head voice I think that's a big big thing that you need to master torso anchoring so thinking about engaging your back muscles yeah muscles all around here to get this kind of help with especially belting okay if you're wanting to get a note and you're getting up there and it's cracking a bit yeah and you've just it's just lacking that depth for example yeah 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 if you get to there and it's going yeah 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 and it's sounding forced then this is what you need to be doing. <laughs> so imagine you've got two melons, I would say, <laughs> under my armpits, okay? Or you could imagine you're picking up some weights or whatever it takes for you to feel the connection with the muscles, okay? So you, it's like as if you've got something here and you're trying to squeeze that down, okay? You know, or if you go to the gym and you do that exercise, that's that's the muscles you're engaging okay all those muscles um that's what you want so yeah 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 and it's so much easier whereas if this is all relaxed yeah 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 it's all just coming from your throat okay you could still be supporting from here yeah 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 and really like thinking well my diaphragm's working it, you know my muscles here are working it's not enough for that intensity of sound you have to put your back into it okay and that is what torso anchoring is So I hope that's helped and
and made anchoring a little bit clearer. If you have any more questions on that, then please let me know. But in the meantime, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon at Singer's Advice.